Hey visionaries, it's Shawana Livingston here of shawanalivingston.com. I am a mom, I'm a speaker, I'm a leadership consultant, a brand strategist. I'm all the things y'all. And as I transition, I've been trying to put a title on it, but all I know is that I am here to help you become the greatest version of yourself. And in today's video, I wanna share with you how to have a morning routine for success. a firm believer that you have to do what works for you. So I am not sharing this with you so you can take my routine and follow it step by step. Uh-uh, that ain't gonna work. Some of y'all are mothers of newborn babies, so your routine is not gonna work like my routine. Some of y'all, you know, have a whole bunch of different things going on. However, I am sharing this routine with you so that you can have this one major takeaway. And the one major takeaway is, is that if you control your morning, you control your day. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump into my morning routine. The very first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I lean into that peaceful state that I am already in. And all of you guys are in that state normally when you wake up in the morning. And that's because you're coming from the subconscious place to this conscious reality. You're somewhere in between and you're still kind of groggy. You're still kind of trying to make out what's around you. And you're in this like in between phase. I have realized the longer that I milk that state of being, the more creative I am, the more ideas I have, the more peaceful I am. Okay, so I wake up before my kids wake up. I do not allow them to distract me from this state because I've realized that it controls how the rest of my day goes. So I wake up in this beautiful state and then I immediately go handle my you know, hygiene stuff. So I brush my teeth, I wash my face. And the first thing that I do after that is I exercise. I normally go for a morning run and I run a mile and a half. Now y'all, when I first started, I couldn't run a mile and a half, okay? So I'm not telling y'all to go run a mile and a half. I'm telling y'all to get up and move your body. There are some days that I don't even go for my morning run, but I still exercise at home. When I get my um, energy up, my heartbeat up, and I do some cardio combined with that very peaceful state that I was just in, y'all, it's like something magical happens. Like I'm able to visualize better. I'm able to see my goals becoming a reality. Like it's really hard to put into word what happens to me during this time, but I'd probably be running with a smile on my face and people be like, what's going on with her? And it's because I can see clearly everything that I want coming into existence. And I think that's just what really helps me first thing in the morning, going from that peaceful state to like this energized state. It's just like convulsive. So the next thing I do is I come home, I take a quick little shower, and then I sit down and I quiet my mind and I meditate. I meditate. When I first started meditating, or actually before I started meditating, I was scared. I didn't know what was going to come up in my mind while I was doing it. And I thought it was cool to watch all of these other people do it, but I just felt like it was something that wasn't for me. I didn't really understand why people did it or how it helped. I thought it was the same thing as praying and I thought, you know, I could just pray. But I finally started doing it. And at first it was hard. Like it was really hard for me to quiet my mind. It was hard for me to sit still. And I realized that that's the problem. Like I can't sit still. I can't focus for like two minutes. And that is what's the problem with the rest of my day. I can't even focus on nothing else because I can't sit down and meditate for two minutes. Okay, but now that I have been practicing meditation, y'all, I can probably sit down and meditate for an hour or two, unbothered, without moving, and with a clear mind. But I've practiced it, and it's a muscle that you have to practice. So, you know, I say start off with just 20 minutes. I normally only do 20 minutes. I don't do an hour or two. Even though I can do that, I only do like 20 minutes because I got work to do. So I sit down, I quiet my mind. Now, my type of meditation is um, allowing my thoughts to just flow. I try to get into a state where I don't have any thoughts, but it can be really, really difficult to do that, um, especially if you're just starting out. So the main thing you wanna do though is detach from your thoughts. You wanna be able to observe what you're thinking. You wanna be able to 
um, have control over what you're thinking. And the only way you can do that is you have to be aware of them. And so a lot of times that's what I do first thing in the morning. Um, it helps me to connect to the source, to God, um, and also be able to observe my thoughts and clear my mind. After meditating, the next thing that I do is, what do I do after I meditate? Meditate, oh, I go eat breakfast. I'm hungry at this point. But the good thing about my hunger at this point is like I'm not hungry for anything really unhealthy or heavy. So if you're someone who wants to be health conscious, doing the rest of these things first is going to help you be health conscious because when it comes to meal time, like you're feeling so energized and you're feeling so, you know, peaceful and your state of being is just so raised, like your vibrations are high right now that you don't really want to put anything in your body to disturb that or bring you down. And so I go, you know, have breakfast but I normally just make something that's really light and easy. You know, I'll have some avocado and some eggs. I'll do like a cinnamon raisin toast, some fruits. But yeah, I won't even have like a really big breakfast and I'm full and I'm good and I'm ready to go. I do have my coffee though. <laughs> I do get my coffee. So after I have breakfast, I go to my desk. And guys, this is the most important thing. When I go to my desk, I open up my to-do list in Asana, my task list in Asana, and my task list is already there. And the reason it's already there is because I believe in a technique called plan tomorrow today, okay? I plan out what I'm going to do this day. I planned that yesterday. I don't plan what I'm gonna do today on the same day. Think about if you had a party to plan for your kids or something or your own birthday party, and you start planning that morning. How is the rest of your day going to go? It's going to be chaotic, right? It's going to be like, you're not going to be able to focus on anything. And so I have found that to be true in my life as well. I do not plan what I'm going to do on the same day that I'm going to do it. So I use Asana to plan my projects and do all of my management stuff and give me a task list so that I can know what I'm supposed to be doing each and every single day. All right, so what else? That's pretty much it guys some days i pull out my journal and i journal right here but it really depends on how i'm feeling like if i'm feeling super clear then i normally go right into work because it helps me to stay focused if i'm not super clear and i've had some ideas pop up in my head while i was working out or meditating or anything like that i journal i journal about what i was thinking i may even journal about how i want my day to go because i believe that we plan our days as well subconsciously if you already think you're gonna have a bad day you're gonna have a bad day but i like to write out how my day is gonna go and um yeah, I do that before I get to work. And that's pretty much it. That's my whole morning routine. For those of you who are parents, I do just wanna say this. In order for any routine that you have to work, you have to make sure you have a routine for your children as well. And that's how my routine works because I do have kids. I have two, just in case y'all haven't noticed. And um, they have a schedule too. They have a routine too. And I make sure I plan their routine like parallel to mine so that while I'm doing my meditation, they are brushing their teeth. So if you're gonna follow a routine, make sure that you put your kids on a routine and it'll be hard for them at first, but after a while, they'll get used to the schedule. Just like they get used to it at school, they'll get used to the schedule. All right guys, so that's it for today. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video, comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video.